it would be this one. Which phone is this? I don't even know who this is. Oh, this is my personal. Let's see if this will work now. What up, people? Hi, 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 hi. You know why I'm here. Ah! Hold on one second. This is this phone is giving is giving me the blues. This one device, I'm gonna reboot it. It's really giving me the blues here. And I'm gonna cuss, but I'm gonna choose to stay safe today. What would life be without technological difficulty? Huh? What would life be without technical difficulties? What's up, y'all? I don't know who can moderate for me on Insta. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mama Karen is on here. I can let her have it. Wait, where's Breon? Is Breon on here? I'll give it to you for right now, Mama Karen. And his Mama Moderator. <laughs> I don't want to cuss. I want to use this device, but I don't know if it's going to work. This is from my personal um, Facebook. We'll see. Or I, I, gave, I gave the controls to Mama Karen already, y'all. Appreciate the, the, the support and the love. What up, people? I'm rebooting. Hold the line one second. I'm rebooting. Okay. All right. Now let's see if this will work. Facebook, not you, but my um, Facebook um, personal page. If not, I'm I'm going to be over it. I know you're looking at Facebook, but this is my personal Facebook. This is not. Um, this is not the Facebook fan page. This is my personal, like, Facebook friends or whatever. You don't like to have everybody here. All right, what up, peeps? Let's do this. We got work to do today. Oh, and by the way, your six-piece utensil set is in stock. It's finally here. It's on the website. This is your six-piece, long-handled, gold utensil set, all right? It comes with the spatula, the spade, the spaghetti spoon or fork, the ladle, the wide-handled slotted spoon, thank you, and the serving spoon, the wide mouth serving spoon. You can get this at shopdariuscooks.com right now. Use the code uh, GOLD to save 30% my gift to you. And pressure cookers. Pressure cookers are also now in stock. You can get one at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code GOLD at checkout to save 30%. Let me grab some ice, please. Hold on. All right. Who, who, who y'all playing with? Do not play with me, okay? All right. I'm going to show you a little uh, bootleg raspberry lemonade margarita that we could use this for, right? Because sometimes y'all mix this with rum and that's good too, but I'm gonna show you how to just take it a step further. So I'm gonna add in some raspberry lemonade, your favorite kind, but your favorite brand. I actually got both. I even got the, Pub Ooh, the Publix brand too, just because I didn't know if they was gonna have that one. So, you know, I had to get both just in case, okay? All right, then to that, we shall bump 
The lime flavor. All right. By squeezing in some fresh lime juice. Because is it really a margarita without lime juice? No. I don't care what you say. And I love when a margarita has a little tinge of an orange overnote. So how do we get, how do we achieve a tinge of orange overnote? We achieve that by adding in fresh squeezed orange juice. Now this is, um, they have all kinds, Valencia, Cara Cara, Cara Cara, Tangerine, get whatever you want to get. Okay, it don't really matter. Whatever you do, just squeeze it in fresh. Okay, squeeze it in fresh. Plus, you know, with the vaccine not here no more, you need something for your immune system. Fresh squeeze orange juice is what you need, all right? I have, this is tequila. This is actually Valencia orange tequila. So I'm putting me a shot of that in there. All right, lychee liqueur, just the touch is all you need. It gives this sort of floral essence that makes you go, oh, what is that? Okay, and then this is uh, a little bit of triple sec, which is an orange liqueur, which is typically always found in somebody's um, margarita. All right, you give it a shake. All right, and then we get a glass. This is a margarita glass, a martini glass, a daiquiri glass. It's whatever you want. It's actually from uh, my wine glass collection. <gasps> my bad, y'all. It's actually from uh, my wine glass collection. This is the, hold on, my oranges, my oranges got me shame. This is the uh, royal wine glass. Perfect every time, is it not? Complete, pure perfection every single time. Oh, let me fix Instagram. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me fix Instagram. Instagram complaining. They ain't got no sound. Hold on one second. I done messed, I done messed the thing up on Instagram. Hold on one second. Instagram, you know, they, they cuts up. They act a fool if it ain't right. Hold on, hold on. Let me get Instagram back. They will, they will act a fool if it's not right. And I want it to be right for them. All right, there we go. Let's just get Instagram back. Uh, Instagram, oh, they, my Instagram people will cut up. What's, what, why, what is this, what's going on? We can't see nothing. Okay, I know. Just bear with me, okay? We do not need 19 million people talking about the sound out, the sound. We know the sound went out. It froze, okay? It, it stalled out now. Uh, bow your head and say grace. Salute. It really is the lychee liqueur for me. I don't know if you know that or not, but it really is the uh, the lychee liqueur for me that really does a bang up job of giving this a beautiful floral overtone. Now. If this is your first, second, or third time joining us for service, we ask that you stand at this moment. For it is not by any accident that you are here this evening, but simply by God's divine providence. And we are so glad 
that you have decided to join us for service on this evening. We really do hope something is said or done that really encourages your heart. And we want you to come back and visit us again. Now, at this time, we do have impact agents. They're coming from the rear of the sanctuary, and they're going to hand you an information card. When you go around for offering, you can put the information card in the basket so that we may stay in contact with you. Now, we do ask that you please go to the West Vestibule to get your free gift. Do not go to the East Vestibule. The East Vestibule is the sign up for the seniors. Our illustrious first lady has let us know that she is tired of the young girls out here having babies out of wedlock. So they are holding a seminar with the seasoned saints. And if you would like to sign up to either facilitate or attend, please go to the East Vestibule. But if you want your free gift and you are not a fast ass person, you can go to the West Vestibule. Now at this time, we would like to welcome you. Let the foodie in me, let the foodie in you, let the foodie in me, let the foodie in you, cause you're easy. You're easy. You're easy. Bop, 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 bop. Easy to love. You may be seated as further. Amen. <laughs> Do not ask me where I come up with this foolishness from. I don't even think about this till it's time to go live. I come up with this foolishness top of my head. You know, it's got to be a problem. If my dumb ass can sit here and think of that. Off the riff. Okay. Uh, oh, I can't add no moderator. Sorry, y'all. It won't let me add a moderator. Add a moderator. You can only add one moderator. Oh, you must still be the moderator. Oh, I already gave a moderator already. I gave a moderator. Yeah. I assigned a moderator. I think I gave it to Auntie Sherry. So you do have a moderator. On, what's that? What y'all got? It's warm. Hold on one second. I done got warm. Well, let me take this shirt on. I'm wearing some too big shirts, so please do not talk about me with this shirt on. I done got warm. The tequila is tequila in already. Okay. Yes, all my clothes are too big. Okay, this is a shirt somebody gave me down with Darius Cooks. I could tie, I might tie me a little knot on the side or something like that to keep it up on me. On my body, but it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Okay, come on, let's cook this pot roast. Mm. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna put this on saute for a little bit. Now, don't forget, as I was telling you, pressure cookers are in stock and your gold six piece. Utensil set is also in stock at shopdariuscooks.com. Use, look how beautiful this is. Use the code GOLD at checkout to save, um, to save some money, okay? I don't know how much you're gonna say, 30%. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this off. This is a chuck roast. Use whatever you wanna use. Chuck, rump, I don't care, okay? But just put them in, after we're gonna, we gonna go rinse them off real fast, but we're gonna throw him in the pressure cooker. Now, the reason I like the chuck is because, believe it or not, chuck is gonna stay moist. Every single time you put chuck together. Chuck be chucking, okay? I'm 
going to give it a little bit of water. And I got it in my pressure cooker on, it's on saute. Just so I could like cheat the system a little bit and get it going. By the way, you should know that every recipe we are doing tonight is coming out of applied pressure, but with soul. Thank you. So if you have your Bibles, you can turn with us to page. I'm going to tell you what page I'm going to be on. Let me find the scripture. Hold on. Page 19, red wine braised pot roast with potatoes. Okay. If you need a copy of this, you can get it at shopdariuscooks.com. 30% tonight, only while we're live. What code you going to use? Gold. And check out. Now, the pot roast needs some vegetables. The book says onion. What is this? An onion. Let me put this trash can close to it. I have a lot of trash tonight. Whenever you're these fresh vegetables. All right. This is the red onion because this is the one they had and this is the one that was on sale because you know what we do. Okay? I ain't never had nobody taste nothing be like this is a Vidalia onion. You ain't never did that. Just quit lying. Okay? Stop it right now. You have never done that. I'm sorry, y'all. My shirt's too big. I lost too much weight. And so now my shirt looks like a dress on me. Okay? But this was shirt somebody bought me at Dinah with Darius Cooks. I be wearing the stuff y'all buy me. Just FYI. Okay? I really do. I don't wear it all the time, but I do wear it. Somebody got me the pettiest Capricorn t-shirt, too. I wore that one, too. I wore that the other day. Okay, this is onion. You need, you need some of that in your pot roast. The book says garlic. So what do we have? Garlic. Okay. Now, the book say, it say stuff I don't have, okay? Fresh rosemary, fresh thyme. I don't have it. Uh -uh, I don't have that. What I do have is dried stuff. What we gonna use, what we have. This is dry thyme, all right? This is a little bit of herbs de Provence, okay? Herbs de Provence. It say we supposed to put some tomato paste in there. I got that. Why I don't have it? Because I don't have it. I didn't go to the store and get none. I was busy working on other stuff, but I'll tell you what, if you want me to have it, you can cash at me. Dollar sign Darius Cooks. Put in the memo section for fresh herbs and I'll go pick some up. Y'all probably, that's why you ain't got no friends now. You're too smart at the mouth. It was a response from a visitor. Okay. That's why I've been busy. Okay, tomato paste went in here. Um, we need some salt and pepper. We didn't put none of that in here. Okay. We also need some red wine. Any kind of red wine you got, it don't really matter, all right? This is a, um, this is a Merlot. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Merlot in here, okay? And then um, I'm supposed to put some Worcestershire. Hold on, I have that. And then potatoes and carrots. See how simple this is? The pressure cooker gonna do all the work for you. Let me get the Worcestershire, y'all hold the line. I got some, it's over here though. 
I think it's over here. Hold on, let me see what I got. I don't see it. Wait, I see it. It's down here. Hold on, y'all. I found it. I be cooking like y'all be cooking. Don't nothing be ready. Okay? Now, I do need some beef broth. But I don't have none. <laughs> I need some beef broth. This really ain't the recipe. It's kind of the recipe, but it's kind of not. So I'm going to use a little bit of browning. And then... I got some, uh, I'm supposed to have some chicken bouillon, so oh, I see it, it's over there, I see it, never mind, I got some right here, I got chicken bouillon, and water, cause I don't have no beef bro, I'm sorry, this, this, this is whatever you got, pot roast, and this is what I got. What you gonna do? Deal with it. Put your little water in here. All right. And then we're gonna use our gold utensils, which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. You sure can. You can get this at shopdariuscooks.com. Your six piece gold utensil set, it's on sale tonight. <laughs> Use the discount code GOLD at checkout to save, okay? Now, I got some carrots right here. You don't need that many. This is enough. This is two carrots. Yes. Not these kind of carrots, but these kind of carrots. You just, yeah, just use what you got. Okay? It's going to be fine. I hope. Okay, it's gonna be fine. Yes, it's gonna be good. Cut the cut the ends off. All right, and we're gonna cut the carrots in chunks. Okay, put them in with the sauce. You know all the seasoning we got. The red wine, all that. Okay, carrots go in. Potato, very important. I bought these potatoes right here. The baby potatoes, they already, all you gotta do is rinse them off, that's it. Okay, that's all you gotta do is rinse these potatoes off. Like this many. How many is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Fourteen. Okay, we got the potatoes rinsed, the carrots, and all the seasoning in the world into the pressure cooker, one hour, done. Okay, y'all ready? Pardon me, hold on one second. I'm going to lock the lid, and I'm going to set it to meat slash for one hour, all right? Now, how difficult was that? Now, I don't know how far off I am from the book. The, the book say, remove the beef, add the onions, stir in the herbs, tomato paste, cook, stir in the, okay. Yeah, we kind of on par with the book. Salt, fresh brown black pepper, we did that. Beef, lock the lid, set the pressure for one hour. We kind of in the neighborhood. I got to sneeze. Hold on one second. 
it went away. We in a neighborhood, all right? Just do what the book say, and you'll be good to go, okay? I've been making variations because I'm going to use what I got. That's it. Okay? Now, to go with the pot roast, ain't really but about, let me see. It's about two things you can make that go good with pot roast. Rice, go good with pot roast because it'll pick up all of the um the seasonings and stuff like that, right? No, this is the lazy pot roast. I did not, you know, somebody else said that on my comment section. Somebody said, how come you didn't see the pot roast off? Yo, this is pressure cooking, right? So when you do pressure cooking, it locks in the flavor in the pressure cooker. So you don't have to do all that searing and all that stuff. You ain't gotta do all that. That's why you got the Darius Cooks pressure cooker, which you, you don't have, you can get it at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code Um, gold at checkout to save 30%. Mm. Somebody said, is Darius sweating? Yes, he is. Yes. Believe it or not, I just recently finished my cardio session, okay? So we're doing 45, 45 lower size. Today is day don't ask me, 39, 38, but we count backwards from 45. So I just got off the bike not too long ago. So all of my, you know, insides are burning up. So to answer your question, yes, he is sweating, but that's okay. Okay, do you wanna see what is coming? Of course you want to see what's coming to shop DariusCooks.com. Are you ready for this? This is an exclusive. All right. You have a 14 piece stainless steel and gold collection, okay, coming to shopdariuscooks.com. Don't ask me when it's coming, it's coming soon, all right? The moment it's here, you'll know. But my samples have come in, I am in love, okay? I am completely in love. So we're gonna use some of this, and yes, it comes with the skillets, the large skillets with the lid. I even have the stock pot with, with the lid. Don't worry, you'll get it. It's coming, I promise, okay? I promise, it's coming. It's coming, all right? It's all coming soon, okay? All right, let's do this. Let's take this and we will throw in some potatoes, okay? I shall be using the same baby potatoes that you just saw me cut open to put into the pot roast because we need something that's going to pick up the flavor of the pot roast and the gravy and the juices, okay? Isn't this cute? 
Yes, he did say a 14 piece set. Isn't this cute? Isn't this the bee's knees? And look how well your gold utensil set is going to go with this. Who says you can't mix metals together? Who said you cannot mix metals together? Your stainless steel and gold. Okay. All right. Pretty cute. That's all I'm going to say. Let me get some water. Let me rinse these off. Hold on, y'all. potatoes just now. I almost lost them, but I saved them. Okay. It's like, uh, I'm a surgeon. This raspberry lemonade margarita Potatoes are in. Here's your little secret to making sure you have amazing flavor in your mashed potatoes. I've done this before, but sometimes you need a refresher, okay? A couple of cloves of fresh garlic go right into here. The garlic itself is going to cook oh and turn sweet and soft that way when you mash the potatoes you'll get a little bit of garlic action happening it's so good okay now the bible says whatever is in the water gets absorbed into the pasta okay so if there's no water i mean there's no flavor <laughs> in the water, there'll be no flavor in the potatoes, okay? We have a moderator. We gave the moderator to um, Auntie... Uh, who we gave the moderator to? I don't know. We gave the moderator to somebody. We gave it to uh, Mama... Auntie Sherry. That's what we gave. We gave the, we gave the moderator to Auntie Sherry. It won't let me assign another moderator unless I end the line. Hold on, y'all. One second. Okay. Hold on one second because Instagram is going crazy. They said they need a moderator, need a moderator. Okay. In order for me to assign a new moderator, I have to end the live and restart the live. Okay. All right. No. Okay. They say nobody is moderating on Instagram. I y'all hold the line one second. Let me end it. I've now ended it. Okay. They have all this to say. They they hate when I do that. Okay. They hate when I do that. Okay. I have ended the live. I am going to restart the live. This this what they they. They so special on Instagram. They act like babies. They, you know, you can't do nothing. We need this. We need that. We need this. We need that. I, they, they spoil brats on Instagram. Okay. Now they coming back. Put this on board. They some spoiled brats on Instagram. All right, now let me see if I can assign a moderator on Instagram. Add as a moderator, confirm. There's your moderator, okay? 
Let me know if you need anything else. I'm here. Okay, potatoes are on, and so is the um, pot roast. But my cup is empty. My storage is empty. And we have to make um, these short ribs real fast, too. Okay? So, I should probably refresh my beverage before we move into the territory of making the Korean-style short ribs. Now, just so that you know, everything we're doing today is out of my latest cookbook, Apply Pressure, but with soul. We're using the pressure cooker on everything. So if you need a copy of this cookbook, you go to shopgaryscooks.com. You put the discount code in, it's GOLD, G-O-L-D, and this book will be shipped to you. Our next shipping day is tomorrow, okay? Also, if you need a pressure cooker, because maybe you don't have one, you can get the Darius Cooks pressure cooker at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code GOLD at checkout to save 30%. And if you need your six-piece utensil set in gold, all right, this is from the Darius Cooks Kitchen Collection. You can get it at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code GOLD at checkout to save 30%. Now, if you miss the cocktail, let's make another one. All right, we'll put some ice in here. Okay, we'll start with a little pinch of raspberry lemonade, store-bought, no need for you to make your own, okay, that don't make no sense whatsoever, half of an orange, okay, get all the juice, you could use regular orange juice too. You ain't gotta do this from scratch if you don't want to. You know, and you know what I think is so interesting? The orange juice that I actually prefer, I like the pulp in my orange juice. I'm that person. I did not realize there were so many people who don't like the pulp in their orange juice. I was shocked. I was like, really? Orange juice with no pulp? Oh, no. I'm the weird person. I like extra pulp in my orange juice. And um, hi. I don't prefer crispy bacon. I like chewy bacon over crispy bacon. Sorry, it's me. Okay, sorry, I do. I prefer chewy bacon over... Now, I'll eat crispy bacon. Don't get me wrong. Now, I will eat it. But if I had my choice to choose, I would do a chewy bacon over crispy bacon any day. Okay? I know it's weird. It's one of those things you're like, Really? Yes. Really. All right. Leaching the core. A little bit of tequila. And a touch of triple sec. Hi. Who you doing? Lid on. Shake, shake, shake.
Okay. Raspberry lemonade martini. Hi. Thank you. The pulp is in the way. Hold on one second. Let me take the lid off. Thank you. Cheers. Mm. Okay. Next up. Is we need to make the Korean style short ribs, okay? So we were just on page 19 in apply pressure, but with soap. Now, we're gonna skip on over to those of you who have your Bible, turn with me to page 31, okay? These are the Korean style short ribs. We're gonna do those next. We're doing these in the Darius Cooks pressure cooker. If you need a pressure cooker, they're in stock. They'll start shipping tomorrow. You go to shopdariuscooks.com, you use the code GOLD at checkout to save. Okay, now, they have two types of short ribs. And for this recipe, I'm going to be using the flanken style short ribs. Let me show you what those look like. Okay. These the short <laughs> These the short ribs I grew up on. All right. I don't know nothing about them thick short ribs. We didn't have those. Okay? Because we were poor and we did not have no money. Okay? But we have these flanken style short ribs. They're what I grew up. This is what they would eat. My auntie, grandma, and them. It was too expensive. We all we really couldn't all afford them other ones. But look at me now. Ah, look at me now. We need to rinse these. All right. This is the insert. We'll rinse. Hold the line. Now, you know what? This could work with um, the regular style short ribs. You got to cook them a touch longer, but this could work. Short ribs, pork ribs. Really, whatever you like. It's really up to you. You know what I'm saying? It's really whatever you would like. This is your meal. You see what I'm saying? You make it how you want to make it. But I gotta get some, I need some soy sauce. I need a couple things from over there. Hold the line, y'all. I need a couple things. I need some of this, some of this. Um, I need some of this and some of this, okay. If you live near a good Asian market, one-stop shopping, they got everything you need. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. The meat might be a little shaky, but you know, it just depends. Okay, a little bit of soy sauce or tamari goes in, okay? Now, I'm going to add goju jang, but I'm also adding a Korean hot sauce that has not been opened, clearly. Uh, 
Okay. This is a Korean hot sauce. It's more sweet than it is heat, just FYI, okay? Now, the recipe does call for gojujang. Gojujang is a Korean style chili paste. It's fantastic. I do not know who came up with gojujang, but they should get literally the Nobel Peace Prize, okay? The people who decided it was their business to come up with Gojujang should get the Nobel Peace Prize because this is some good shit. And if you are not incorporating Gojujang in your Asian dishes at home, missing out missing out you are missing out oh it smells so good too okay couple of uh big fat spoonfuls of goju jane go in here it's just a korean chili paste that's it is it spicy no it's like the Korean answer to tomato paste and ketchup, kind of. I don't know. I can't really describe it, but it's outstanding, okay? Now, we need some ginger. I'm following the recipe, kind of. <laughs> okay? I'm following the recipe, kind of. The recipe says we need to put in some fresh grated ginger. Now this ginger has been washed. I don't mind using the skin of the ginger. If you don't like the skin, just use the end of a fork, I mean a spoon. And you can peel off your fresh ginger, but let me tell you something, okay? This, they'll give you no discount. The skin costs money too, so you might as well use the skin a little bit if you want to, okay? All right, so in here we have fresh grated ginger. There's nothing like it. It is outstanding and amazing and smells beautiful, okay? We need uh, a pear, okay? We need a pear. I happen to have, because I went to the Asian market, I happen to have Asian pears from the Asian market. If you don't, listen, if you cannot find Asian pears, don't worry about it, okay? Get a regular Bosque pear or Whatever you want, okay? But I'm using, it does sound like bulgogi, right? It puts you in the mind of that. Yes, absolutely right. Absolutely, that's what this is doing. It's like a bulgogi, so it kind of puts you in the mind of like a short rib bulgogi. is in and we'll save the rest I'll juice that I'll juice it tomorrow in my juicer while I'm grating let me also grate in some um, fresh garlic I lost one. It fell inside. That's all right. It can stay there. Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna add a little touch of rice wine vinegar, okay? And a little touch of mirin, which is a sweet rice wine. So good in here, okay? Let me get rid of this, hold the line. Okay, I think the only thing we're missing is like sesame oil, which I don't have any. But I do have brown sugar. So let's put a little brown sugar in. Okay, a little bit of brown sugar. Hi. Oh, that was a that was a clunk. Hold on one second. Hold on. Okay, that's probably that probably is plenty. <laughs> is a plenty of brown sugar floating throughout. Only thing else we need is sesame oil, which I don't have any, and beef bouillon. All I got is chicken, so guess what? Thank you for coming, okay? Now this is it, okay? It's all in here. We give it a little mix. You put this in the pressure cooker, okay? Normally, short ribs would take, um, like an hour to cook, okay? But this says, oh, this has the cucumber salad with it. We're not doing that tonight. But this says, uh, 25 minutes. That's it. I'm gonna put it at 35 because the process is, you can pull it out, reduce the sauce, Make the sauce nice and syrupy and put the short ribs back in to that syrupy sauce. If we have time, I'll do that. If we don't have time, then guess what? I don't have time, all right? Now, to go with the short ribs. Hi, short ribs. We need rice. You gotta have rice. I'm having a strawberry, I'm lying. A raspberry lemonade margarita. And I'm using my gold six piece, you one, two, three, four, five. Hold on. Here you go. I'm using my six piece gold utensil set, which is brand new to the site. You can get it right now. ShopDariusCooks.com, okay? I am not filling my drink, okay? Alcohol does not bother me. Alcohol don't bother me. Y'all. Why I do an interview yesterday with, and you know, I don't do interviews, okay? I'm like, I don't do interviews. I did an interview with Tasha K, okay? I'm over there doing it. Let me tell you how this heifer gets you. This heifer will get you to spill all of the beans. Let me tell you how she did it. That goddamn wine. Okay? She had um she had some sort of red wine. I don't know what it was. It was delicious. I probably drunk half the bottle of wine by myself. Okay? I got up to get ready to leave. And she was interviewing, she was when the next guest had arrived. Right, I ain't gonna tell you who it is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoil oh, shit. But it's somebody who you would be very interested in. I met him, and as I got up to shake his hand, I stumbled, okay? I said, Tasha, now you know good and well, you should not have people out here like this. When I tell you, 
Was it Brian McKnight Jr.? No, it was not. I don't know if I can tell you who it is. I don't know if I can tell you who it was. I mean, I could tell you, but I can't tell you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to give her shit away, okay? Okay, we need some skillets. This is the Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet. Thousands of you already own this skillet. If you need, <laughs> somebody said, somebody said, Kerr Franklin's son. No, it was not Kerr Franklin's son. I can't tell you who it is. I don't want to do that. Okay, I don't want to tell you who it was. Uh, it's a, it's a very, I don't know how she be booking these interviews. I don't know, okay? But she booked a good one, okay? It was not Bobby Brown, no. I can't tell you. It's not my place to tell you. This is the Darius Cooks every... <laughs> I'm so goddamn drunk. This is the Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet. You can get it at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code GOLD at checkout to save uh, 30%. Y'all, first of all, it's too many, <laughs> it's too many cameras. <laughs> I'm live on my personal Facebook, Instagram. Who are y'all? YouTube, TikTok, and my Facebook fan page. Y'all, I I can't, okay? I cannot. The name of the, I forgot. I don't know the name of the wine, but it was good, okay? Let me put this skillet on this. Y'all, hold on one second. Y'all doing too much. Hold the line. Let me find some rice somewhere. I got some right here. This is, what is this? Extra long grain. Grano extra largo. <laughs> this is grano extra largo. Okay, you got to put some oil. I don't know why y'all gave me this. Let me cut this air up. Hold on one second, y'all. It's got too warm in here. Hold the line one second. Let me go to the thermostat. Okay. Thermostat is set. It's got very warm in here. Okay. You need oil in the pan. We put a little oil down to the pan, okay? Now, also in the pan, I need to add little tanks, little tanks. You don't need that much. It's scallion. About two is good. Two scallions is real good, okay? What shall we do? Chop these up, okay? <laughs> this drink got me feeling good, my <laughs> Okay. Because we're going to make sure our rice tastes like something, okay? This is the Darius Cooks. Wait, hold on. This was the old one. This is the new one. It looks like this now. But the one that's coming... 
has the wooden handle. It's gonna look better than this, okay? So this is the Darius Cooks Everyday Knife with the logo, all right? If you need one, you, you go over there to shopdariuscooks.com, okay? Use the code gold at checkout to save, okay? All right. Now, the process for the rice has never changed. One part rice to two part liquid, okay? Why y'all give me this? Why y'all give me this? Cheers. Salute. Okay, I'm put one cup of rice in here. Okay, that's about a cup. All right. Now, before you even get started, here's the question. Did you see me rinse it? All right. Before you ask your question, the answer is, did you see me rinse it? I'm putting the rice in to the oil with the scallions, okay? All right. I'm going to use my Darius Cook gold uh, serving spoon to mix it up. If you need this, you can get it at shopdariuscook.com. Use the code gold at checkout to save 30. Isn't this elegant? The whole set is beautiful. idea here, see, is to cook, uh -oh. the idea is to cook the rice and um, the oil to get it to toast up, and then you get the scallions to release the scallion flavor, all right, I'm going to slice up some, um, some garlic, because we want the garlic and the scallion flavor to be in there real good, okay? So I got three cloves of garlic that I sliced up. I'm going to add over here. All right. And I might as well get my water ready to go, all right? One part rice, two parts liquid. The rice was one cup, so my uh, liquid is going to be two cups of water mixed with chicken bouillon for what? Instant chicken stock. Deal with it. Deal with it. All right, what we got? Yeah, you can rinse yours if you want to. I don't care. I really don't care. Okay. What the toasting the rice does is it eliminates the starch. That way, when you eat the rice, it's not all clumpy and all that. Trust me. Or you ain't got to trust me. It's up to you. Okay, if you want to wash the rice, wash it. Ain't nobody stopping you. But what you don't need to do is announce to all of us that you wash your rice. This is not the airport. You don't need to make no announcements whatsoever, okay? Jackson, you don't need to make any announcements to us. 
what you would do differently, okay? I tell you what. If you want to let people know what you do differently, start your own channel. You see what I'm saying? Go live on your own platform, and then you can make an announcement and what you want to do. You see what I'm saying? You ain't got to eat this. I do. So if you want to wash it, you can put that shit on the spin cycle in your washing machine with Tide, Clorox, and them, um, them, them beads. We don't care. It's up to you. Do what you want to do. Just like we do what we want to do. You can do exactly what you want to do. Okay? And what is it going to be? Fine. People, fine. Now, let us recap. Okay? Because y'all going crazy in the comments. We got to wash the rice. Well, bitch, wash the rice. Who's stopping you? Do what you want to do in your kitchen. Last I checked, I don't know you in real life. You not coming over here to eat. So do what you want to do. It's your kitchen. Just like this one, it's mine. Now, we are cooking from page 31 and apply pressure, but with soul. Okay? So if you need a copy of the cookbook, you can get it at shopdariuscooks.com. Okay, or, oh, and the pressure cooker. So we got two pressure cookers working. We got one working on, I forgot what that was. What is that back there? The pot roast. The pot roast is back there cooking one hour. Over this one, the short ribs, 35 minutes. Okay, now we're on page 19 and page 31. Now we got a skedaddle over the page. Hold on, because I'm all I'm in the book. I couldn't wait till these new order of pressure cookers came in so I can cook out this book. That way y'all can order it and you ain't got to be worried about when it's gonna come. Let me see. I'm definitely gonna scoot over the page. Okay. Wait, that's page 67. Am I doing that one? Or am I doing page, um, what am I gonna do? Hold on one second. What page this year? I got it. 89. Those who have your Bibles, turn with me to page 89. We finna cook the pork and bacon ragu. If you Muslim, sit this one out. Okay? But for all the Christians and the Protestants, praise God. Okay, I'm doing this one in the pressure cooker as well. Okay? Let me just check my stuff. I got my potatoes on the stove and my rice on the stove. Let me just check the stove to make sure I'm still doing good. Y'all hold on one second, okay? Oh yeah, we good. We good for now, okay? Now this one say we need bacon. I have some. I have bacon. Now the recipe calls for eight strips, but you can use as little or as much as you would like. This is your recipe, not mine, okay? So this looked like eight strips of bacon to me. Thank you. I ain't even gotta count them. It looked like it, okay? So I'm gonna cut this bacon into pieces. Thank you.
Could this work with beef bacon? Yes. This cannot work with turkey bacon because turkey bacon is not fatty enough. And you're going to be shamed trying to do this with turkey bacon, okay? All right. I have now sliced this open. I'm going to cut this other pressure cooker to, um, to saute. Okay. And then I'm going to take all of this chopped bacon, these eight strips. Because that's all it is, is eight strips of bacon. Okay. I know it don't look like that, but it don't matter. All right, couple of things are happening behind us. Do you hear that sizzle on that rice? We can, the, the liquid is cooked out. We cut the heat off and we put a lid on. My lid is another skillet. This ain't the lid that came with it, but it's the lid I'm gonna use, okay? So put your lid on. And let it sit there and cook. Don't touch it. Cut the heat off. Let it do its thing. We'll come back to it. Ten minutes. We'll fluff it. It'll be perfect. I promise. Okay? The bacon is working out right now. Over here. The thing say, the recipe, the thing, the recipe. <laughs> the recipe say we need one pound of bulk Italian sausage. This is one pound of bulk Italian sausage. I'ma put this in with the with the bacon, okay? So it can cook up real good and get real juicy on it. All right. Now we do need some veg for this. Okay, we need some stuff to make this taste good because it's gonna taste good with bacon. Anything that start with bacon and Italian sausage, it's got to be amazing. Okay, anything that start with bacon and Italian, it's got to be amazing. All right, onion. Thank you. Throw the onion in with the bacon and the Italian sausage, okay? It also says we need some bell pepper. Whatever kind you got, green, red, yellow, black, or white, it's all precious in his sight, okay? Whatever you got, it don't matter. Okay, whatever you got. I'm gonna take this bell pepper, oh my God, that bacon smells so good already. The bacon. The bacon. I'm just dicing an entire bell pepper. This was an orange one I had. This is the one I'm going to use. Thank you. Okay. In with the bacon and the Italian sauce. We're on page 89, by the way. All right, so if you're wondering, like, Darius, you're doing a lot. We're on page 19. We're also on page 30 something, I forgot. Okay. And we're on page 89. Thank you. I'm 
my potatoes for the pot roast, the potatoes are ready, okay? So I'm gonna drain the potatoes. I'm gonna drain the potato. There's one stuck in there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna throw my drained potatoes right back in here, okay? A potato masher. Let me stir this up first though. Hold on one second. This is the pork and the bacon. I'm gonna show y'all in one second. You can't see it just yet, but I'm gonna show you in one second what it looks like cooking up in this on this saute because this shit smells amazing. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so for the potatoes. You want to mash them first, okay? Here's the key. So one of the flavor weapons we did was we put the garlic in here and let the potatoes cook with the garlic. So now you got a little bit of garlic flavor happening. Once you drain the potatoes, put the potatoes back in the hot pot. The heat from the pot will allow extra moisture to evaporate. That way you're left with pure, amazing, beautiful, potato okay now before you add any liquid you want to smash them first that's why y'all be going wrong right here okay and i'm gonna tell you one thing i like i do not mind a lump in my potato okay for the record i like um, a little bit of lump in my potato, FYI, okay? I don't mind it at all. Mm -hmm. I like it. A little bit of kosher salt, a little bit of black pepper. All right. Marscapone cheese. They sell this in every grocery store, including Walmart. So no more excuses. I don't know where to find it. Well, it's because you didn't look for it. Okay. You didn't look for it. Little mascarpone. You can use regular cream cheese, though. If you can't find mascarpone, cream cheese will work. But there's just something about this mascarpone that just is outstanding for me. I love it beyond infinity, okay? Uh, let me get a spoon. And let's give this a stir. Yep. Uh-oh, I wasted a little time. Hold on. Give it a stir. All right, if you want to put like garlic powder and stuff in there, you can. Uh, I am not going to. But let me not stop you. All right, I've got a little bit of half and half. I got to smell it first. All right, a little bit at a time because you can always add more. You can't take more out. All right, so a little bit of half and half. I'm making a mess. And some butter. You actually don't need that much butter. You just need a little bit of butter. <laughs> you just need a little bit of butter. Okay. 
in here. That's it. And you want to gently stir your uh, potatoes. And we're looking for a consistency that's like thick, but also a little creamy as well. Okay. Let me check this for salt content because this might need a little bit of salt. I don't know. Sorry, my mouth is watering. My mouth is watering. Let me see. I don't know. I don't know. Perfect. Literally perfect. Just the way this is. Lumpy, garlicky, creamy, buttery goodness. Okay? I got to get one more pot ready to go. Okay, your stock pot that's coming soon. Don't worry, it's coming soon. Oh, by the way, okay, let me recap. So, your gold... Excuse me, too much pepper. Your six-piece gold utensil set is available right now at shopdariuscooks.com. So is your royal wine glass. And pressure cookers are also on the site as well. It's shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code GOLD at checkout. That'll save you 30%. Thank you. Let me get some water in this so we can put our pasta on, okay? Hold on, y'all, here I come. You have to dance like nobody's watching. Water is on. Let me just check my bacon and sausage. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so right over on the side, I'll show you in a second, but I've just got some bacon, uh, onion, bell pepper, and sausage doing its thing, okay? We need to add some garlic, so I've got about eight cloves of fresh garlic that I'm gonna add right into the sauce. And I'm cooking this on um, saute, so I'm using, I'm doing it in the pressure cooker, but I'm cooking it on saute, okay? So my garlic now goes in, and then I'm also going to put in some uh, tomato paste as well, okay? Because I really want to start letting the tomato paste bloom and do its thing and be juicy and, you know, lend its tomato flavor. Let me see how far I can bring this over. It's plugged up, so. Oh, look at that. There we go. Okay, so this is the this is the one I'm using. So this is the pressure cook. You don't have to pressure cook. You can do saute, you can do boil, you can do all kinds of things 
with it, okay? So I'm not pressuring this at all. I'm just cooking out my bacon and my sausage to start my sauce. Thank you. And I gotta tell you, it smells amazing. Bacon, Italian sausage, onion, hey, get in here, bell pepper, garlic. All right, now the book says we need some tomato puree. So I actually have a can of tomato puree right here that I'm gonna add in. Okay, so I'm making the sauce from scratch. All right, and then you know what we do. You need to rinse this out. But here is a pro tip. We also need to add some red wine. So what we'll do is we'll put our red wine in with the can of tomatoes and this is how we're going to rinse out our tomato can get into it thank you get into it okay now we give that a beautiful mix and we're starting to get what looks like spaghetti sauce we're not quite there yet but we are in the territory of a tomato sauce okay now i also have stewed tomatoes personal preference of mine i happen to really enjoy a bit of the slow cooked stewed tomato flavor in my sauce you can omit if you like however i won't be Okay, give that a good stir. All right, so now, again, I'm on page uh, 89 in Apply Pressure But With Soul. If you just joined us, baby, we are cooking, okay? I got three pressure cookers and two pans and a skillet going at the same time with a raspberry lemonade margarita all right when i tell you we cooking we cooking huh when i tell you we cooking we cooking all right now we need to season this with all the things we know and love okay so it says we need to add in some garlic powder so let's do that Okay, I have garlic. I have that. Okay, I have garlic powder. Okay, this is on saute. So this is the uh, pork, Italian sausage, and the bacon with all the bacon fat, you name it. Okay, so some garlic powder goes in here. Then we need onion powder. Page 89 says we also need Herbs Day Provence. Okay, let's add some of that. Or Italian seasoning, depends on what you got. Okay. It also says we need to add in some chicken bouillon. And brown sugar. You know you gotta add sugar in with the tomatoes. You know that, okay? 
Don't, it's not going to be sweet, but it's one of those things that <coughs> will give you a little bit of balance from the uh, heat and the acid of the tomato. Okay? Thank you. Also, I like a little bit of red pepper flake in mine. Okay? I don't know what you like in yours, but I like a little spice, a little kick. I like a little kick in mine, okay? Just a little bit of, like, personality. Like, oh, what is that? It's just a little something we threw in at the end. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's it. You let this sauce simmer until you're ready to marry it with the... Look at this. Would you, would you look at this? This is loaded with bacon. Mm. It's also loaded with the uh, Italian sausage. And I'm using the gold serving spoon, which you can get today at shopdariuscooks.com. Just use the code uh, GOLD at checkout to save, okay? Now, let us recap because we have done a lot of work. Oh, wait, let me get my pasta on. Hold on one second. The pasta got to go. Y'all hold the line. Let me salt the pasta water. You know how we do that, right? I hope you do. So I typically salt the pasta water because it's the only time you get a chance to season the pasta, you know? And the Bible is true. If there is no flavor in the water, there'll be no flavor in the pasta, okay? I did not drain the fat from the bacon or the sausage. I want that flavor in my sauce. So, you know, you did not miss it. I did not drain it at all, okay? No, I did not drain it. I don't believe in doing that, okay? So, uh, in two seconds, I've got some linguine. Okay, we'll add the linguine to the boiling water. But I do need to recap with you. So we started off out of apply pressure but with sole. And we're on page, we started with page 19. Okay, this is the red wine braised pot roast. I've got four minutes left on the pot roast. And we'll bring it out. I put the pot roast, I'm going to serve that with mascarpone mashed potatoes which are waiting for me on the stove we did that okay i did not sear the uh the pot roast first if you want to sear it by all means knock yourself out this is the lazy version i'm doing it in the pressure cooker the pressure cooker locks in the flavor so i'm not missing any flavor by not searing off the pot roast because it's going to be good the way it is, okay? It's been cooking for an hour. We have three minutes left and then we'll pull it out. We'll release this, the steam and the um, potatoes are ready for us, okay? Then we skipped over to page uh, 31, okay? The Korean style short ribs, okay? We did a little garlic scallion rice. I'm gonna show you the rice in one second. The short ribs, you throw everything in the, sh in the thing, you put it on for 35 minutes, that's it, okay? It couldn't be any simpler than that. Boom, 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 ready to go, okay? You might have to go buy you a couple of Asian ingredients or use what you've got in your cabinet, but you can totally do this and it'll be good to go, okay? Lastly, we're on page 89. All right, so three pages tonight. The pork and bacon ragu. We're using the pressure cooker to make the sauce. I'm about to put uh, the pasta on. Let's do that now, because it's boiling. All right, and this is... Uh, this is linguine, because what did we do? 
We oversalted the water and undercooked the pasta. This is page uh, 89. All we need is chopped basil, and I have some somewhere. I got some. I got it. I just don't know where it's at. We'll find it. I got some. Okay. The other announcements, the pressure cookers are back in stock. If you need one, shop DariusCooks.com. Pressure cookers are ready for you. Six piece, six piece gold uh, utensil set comes with the spade, the ladle, the spatula, the spaghetti fork, the uh, slotted spoon wide, and the serving spoon. You can get this at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code GOLD at checkout to save, okay? All right, let me show you the rice for the short ribs, okay? This is garlic scallion rice. We toasted the rice in olive oil. We added in garlic. We added in, um, scallion okay then we did a little quick chicken bouillon situation that's our bootleg stock we put the chicken uh bouillon in with the water stirred it together poured it in two to one one part rice two part liquid boom we're good to go okay liquid cooks out once the liquid cooks out all right we don't touch it we cut the heat off put a lid on top my lid just happens to be um an extra skillet and you just take a little bit of a fork okay and you run the fork through the rice i want you to see this okay nothing is gummy every grain of rice is separate this is the best way to make rice okay everything is separate nothing is like all clumped up sticking together we don't believe in that around here all right, and then it has the garlic and the scallion action hanging out in here, nice and delicious, okay? Oh yeah, oh yeah, mm, perfect. The flavor is outstanding, okay? Let me get my uh, pasta, y'all, hold on one second. Now, I did use this, the Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet. So if you do not have one of these skillets, you need this in your arsenal. This is the best skillet you will ever own in your entire life. It comes branded DariusCooks.tv on the back. You can get it today, shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code GOLD at checkout. If you want a skillet, you can save 30% today. Okay, you've got that option. All right, let's grab our pot roast. It's been cooking for an hour and it's under extreme pressure. Okay, so to release the pressure on the Darius Cooks pressure cooker, this is how it looks. I've unplugged it. Okay, all you do is do one of these numbers. All right. You wait a few minutes and the steam will escape. All right. This is this this is why we did not sear it to begin with because you don't need to. Okay? You you don't need to. I got a little bit of cornstarch.
But I'm going to mix with some cold water. Let me check this pasta. Hold on one second. this pasta with this sauce in a second all right and this sauce is doing well it's just about ready so I'm gonna show you that in one second okay so I just did a little cornstarch slurry why because I like my sauce and my pot roast to be nice and tight and this will be a little loose now, there is a mechanism that will lock this in place until the pressure, the pressure has released. So you can't even open it. It has a safety valve on it. So you can't even open it until enough pressure has been released, all right? You can try, and it won't come open until, until it's ready, okay? All right, look at the potato. Look how, look how fork tender the potatoes are. Look at that. Oh, hold on. Look at that. Fork tender, okay, on the potatoes. I'm gonna take this beautiful cornstarch slurry. I'm just gonna pour this all over because I'm excited about potentially getting, oh my God, getting in here. I can't even pick this up, hold on. It's only been an hour and I can't even pick up the pot roast because it literally has like shredded. Let me drain this pasta real fast for this sauce. And then we can put all of our dishes together. Dish. I can't even pick the pot roast up, okay? The pot roast has like, it is tender and like shredded and like, I can't even get it. Here's a piece right here, hold on. See that? Literally one hour. Not three, not four, one hour on the pot roast. It's ready to go. We'll plate that in one second. Let's talk about the Korean style short. Did I time this perfectly or did I time it perfectly? Okay, quit playing with me. Quit, quit, quit playing with me, okay? Korean style short ribs. Release the pressure, okay? Timed it perfectly, all right? All using the uh, Darius Cook pressure cooker, which you can get right now at shopdariuscooks.com. Just use the code uh, GOLD at checkout to save 30%. Yeah, the Queenish code is gone. That's gone. I, that's the way. That's gone. Y'all don't want that one out. You want it out for a month. About 7,000 of y'all use that code. That's over with, all right? No more queenish. Gold is the code only for tonight. Once I'm done on live, the code is coming away, all right? There'll be no more code. Now, remember what I told you. You can't open this until all the pressure has been released, okay? pressure uh, has been released. Look at how tender these short ribs 
have, have become. Okay? These are the Korean style flanking short ribs that we made. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's put it together so you see what we're working with. Okay? First thing I want to start with is I need a scallion. Okay, I need a scallion. I want to do a little slice of my scallion. On the bias, all right? I'm going to grab a bowl. To the bowl. I am going to use my new gold serving utensil, my serving spoon, and I'm going to add this scallion and garlic rice to the bottom of this bowl, okay? That's step one. Step two is I do want to take some of the short rib and throw the short ribs right on top, the beautiful, tender, Korean-style short ribs, all right? I do want to garnish these short ribs with a wee bit of sesame seed. And I'm going to finish with fresh scallion right on top of my short ribs. Presentation is always everything, so I'm just going to wipe up. And you know what I do want to do is give me a little bit of that sauce, a little bit of that goju jang and brown sugar sauce. Give me a little bit of that action happening. There we go. What was that? What was that? What was that? Literally, in the pressure cooker, done. The pressure cooker has done all the work. If you do not have a Darius Cook's pressure cooker, you need one. It literally does all the work for you. All you have to do is put the ingredients in and this is how it comes out. Now, could you please bow your head so we could say grace? Grace. Oh my God, look at the short rib. The short rib, 35 minutes. And this thing has fallen apart, okay? Mm. 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 Look at that, look at that. Number one, done. Mm. 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 Okay. Number one, done. Okay. Number two. have 
mashed potato with butter, garlic, mascarpone in the bottom. We will take our pressured pot roast that I can't even begin, I can't even pull it up. Hold on. I'm trying to get a chunk. Let me see if I can get a chunk of pot roast for y'all. I can't even get a chunk, y'all. Oh, I got one. Hold on, I got one. Ooh. Hold on, I can't even get it out without it one piece. I'm trying to get a chunk out for y'all. I can't even get a chunk of the pot roast out because the shit is so. Oh, here go a chunk. Here go a chunk. Every time I cut a chunk, it it shred, it tears. Every time I cut a chunk off, it tears. Hold on. I want to get like. Ooh, ooh, hold on. I think I got one. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got one. Barely. I barely got a chunk. It keep tearing. Sorry. It's like super moist and like juicy and all that. Let's grab some, um, let's use our slotted spoon to grab some potato and carrot action. Okay, this was pressure cooker number two. And I'm just gonna take some of the same scallion. You can put like scallion, parsley, whatever you want, right on top of that, okay? So I'm trying to, I was trying to cut a hunk off, but as you can see, it wouldn't let me, all right? 60 minutes, y'all. Yes, I have a giant trash can by the stove so I can dump the trash and then take it out. Yes, I have a giant trash can by the stove. I, I don't like them little small garbage cans. I be having too much stuff to throw. I want it all in the trash, okay? So if that's bothering you, I'm sorry. But yes, that is a trash can that I keep by the stove so that... Oh, I'm sorry. This is the lazy pot roast. When I tell you this thing don't make no sense. How tender and how flavorful this is. Mm, 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 mm. My word today. Oh, God damn. If you do not have this Darius Cook's pressure cooker, you're missing out. 60 minutes from start to finish, your pot roast is this tender. Mm. It makes no sense. It literally makes no sense for this 
to taste like this, okay? All right, my... Page 89, my bacon and pork ragu has cooked. It is porky and bacony and tomato-y. And I'm just gonna add some of the ragu in here with the pasta. Like that, all right? And then what I'm gonna do Fresh Parmesan cheese. Okay, that's fresh parm. And my fresh parm is going to get married with my ragu that's got the bacon and oh, the Italian sausage hanging out, okay? Did we cook or did we cook? Hold on, I ain't done. We need a little more sauce on top. Ugh. A little more sauce on top. And uh, let's see what I got. But that was two cocktails ago. And I don't know. Oh, here you go. <laughs> I'm like, I did have fresh basil, but that was two cocktails ago. Have we cooked or have we cooked? Okay. You've got three amazing dishes in less than an hour using the Darius Cooks pressure cooker. Okay. Name your other influencer doing it. Huh? Name your other influencer out here cooking up meals like this in less than an hour. Okay, let me get one more fork. I've got the red wine braised pot roast, the Korean short ribs, and now on page 89, you have the pork and bacon ragu. And I'm using, I'm doing a linguine with mine. But you can use spaghetti, you can use angel hair. It's completely up to you what you want to use, okay? Please bow your head so we can say grace one more time. Grace. Bitch, I want to cuss. This bacon in here, the smokiness of this bacon with the sweetness of that brown sugar 
And the sweetness that comes out of these tomatoes is downright disrespectful. This is amazing. Mm. Mm. Recipes like this, one place, DariusCooks.tv or apply pressure, but with soul. Tons of amazing Pressure cooker recipes that will not have you in the kitchen all day and locks in amazing flavor. Don't forget, pressure cookers are back in stock now. Also, don't forget that the six-piece gold utensil set is yours. Shop DariusCooks.com. Use the code GOLD at checkout. We'll start shipping those tomorrow to you. Same thing with pressure cookers, all right? What you want me to tell you? I did this all in front of you about an hour. Short ribs, Korean style with the rice, mascarpone mash with the red wine, braised um, pot roast, and the beautiful pork and bacon ragu off page 89. This is insane. This, all of it is good. But bitch, this shit here with the Italian sausage and the bacon, baby, listen. Two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life, it is my food. Until next time, I want to wish you a happy cooking from my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. So fucking good. This was great. Just amazing, literally, hands down.